to do that, but I was scared you'd leave. I don't give a shit. Leave. I'm almost dead. I don't give I'm doing that shit all the time. Stay down, bitch. What's up? I did. I used to look at my grandparents and be, oh, they used to suck. My grandmother's 89, my grandfather's 99. I used to look at them and fear that shit. I love it now. I love it. I love that. I can't wait to be that age to wear whatever. Three sweaters and a hat. Fuck it. I feel bad for young women too, man. I see all you hot chicks here, man. It sucks to be you. You care. You have to care. All these hot chicks tonight, you guys probably all washed, right? Showered, shampooed, shaved everything, made a little heart just in case it's Atlantic City, Saturday night. <laughs> Fuck you, my grandmother's 89, she doesn't wash, she gets a baby wipe, pits, pussy, done. That's it, so nobody's touching this ever again. Not even doctors, it's dead to them. Nobody's going there. She can let it grow like a vine on a library, it doesn't matter. Nobody's seeing this, let it be dirty. My wife, I feel bad for my wife. She's holding on so bad to you. She's beautiful, but it sucks to look at the medicine cabinet. You look at the medicine cabinet. I have like what? I have a razor and I use her deodorant. I have, I have nothing. <laughs> she has 9,000 creams, face cream, under the eye cream, nose cream, elbow cream, titty cream, under the tit cream, around the nipple cream, five different foot creams, a fucking cheese grater. <laughs> My grandmother hasn't touched her foot in 37 years. Seriously. If I look at my grandmother's baby toe, I'll, th I'll throw it in my mouth. It's, like, it's skin uh, on skin with a tooth. I think it's a tooth. Ooh. It might be a dead twin. I don't know what the fuck it is. But it went. It's fucking nasty. If she doesn't wear socks, it sounds like a horse running through a parking lot. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait, man. Just to not give a shit. Go to the beach in the summertime, man. Watch, watch how much old people don't give a shit. Oh my God, hot chicks are down there with the hottest bikini and if they have a little cheese, they always cover it up with a sash or some bullshit. Old women, they don't give a You throw yourself, jam yourselves into fucking one pieces. Just fucking everything's hanging out. It looks like you have a teddy bear and a leg lock and you your arms is flapping in the wind like a fucking little nuggets and shit hanging out. They use your tits as a pocketbook, like a cell phone and some juicy juice and fucking coupons for a slot machine. They don't give a shit. Old guys don't give a shit either. My grandfather at the beach takes his shirt off, his fucking man boobs flop out, he's got gray nipple hair, birds are laying eggs on his tits and fucking shorts from the 20s. They come up to here, a jock strap, still one nut flips out for some reason. Then he wears a blue bonnet. He's like, fuck it, bonnet, boobs, balls. I'm high stepping this whole fucking beach. Balls are hitting little kids. Ow! Ow! Fuck up, my way. <laughs> Do you ever fart in tight jeans and little bubbles come up right in the back? It's like they come up here. You fart from here, regular right here, and then up here with a belt. Quack, 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 quack. I play jazz out of my asshole. It was like, quack, 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 blah, 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 blah. But the funniest part was the baby's face. You ever see the fucking baby? Because the baby didn't know what a fart was. He smelt it and felt it. His little hair blew up and shit. But he didn't know. He was trying to fight the fart like it was a ghost. Just... <laughs> then he just gave up. Have you ever seen a defeated baby face? <laughs> funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Please, fart in a baby's face before you die. Do it, fuck you. Feed a booger to a dog. Do something weird. <laughs> oh, shit. The thing that does suck about getting old is like, and um, you have to become a man. That sucks. You know? That sucks. You have to learn about Because you meet a woman you love, and I see these guys here, except for these creeps, but... A lot of guys here with a girl. You have to learn about feelings and fucking intimacy and ugh. That sucks. Fucking intimacy. What the fuck? We get so much shit for that too. Guys don't have feelings. Guys aren't emotionally connected to their fucking no shit. Every show on TV is guys don't know how to be feeling in love and no fuck with that.
fuck you. Yes, ladies, that's true. It's true. Because that's the way we're raised. We're raised to be fucking, be a man. Fucking, we have to protect you from Indians and bears and shit. And then we have to feel feelings out of the blue one day. Fuck off. Ladies, you're raised to be human beings. You can fucking spin in a sundress if you're happy and yeah. Chase butterflies. Butterflies, get them. I will, mother. Yeah. I love life and people. I feel feelings. Cry for no reason. The sun went down. It's okay. Okay, mommy. I had five Irish Catholic uncles. My whole childhood was, hey, don't be a faggot. Don't be a faggot. Why is that such an insult? My whole life, fucking being called a fag, I fucking want to beat the shit out of you. Faggots have done nothing. Gay guys have done nothing to anybody. They've done nothing to me, nothing to any of you guys here. They're the nicest people on the fucking planet. You don't fuck with me, straight guys. That should be a fucking insult. I had a fucking father who used to beat the shit out of me, call me a fucking idiot, told me I'd never be anything. I wish I had a gay father. What was the worst that was going to happen? Too many hugs and encouragement? Ooh, I don't want that. You can do it, Bobby. Yeah! That's my son. I don't care if he loses. Look at that glove. It has tassels. He's a winner in every fucking game. I made you devil with him. Come on. I had a father who used to beat the shit out of me. And don't feel bad for me. I'm fucking happy I had that guy in my life, honestly. Because now, because of him, I can open any jar on the fucking planet Earth. Just, I'm not stupid. I got it. Don't hurt. Fucking gay guys are awesome. If I called you a fag, you'd be pissed, wouldn't you? If I bumped into you in a bar and went fag, you'd want to beat the shit out of me, right? Right? I used to be the same way, dude. Fucking, I'd go, I'll beat the shit out of you to prove I don't put pee-pee in my mouth. <laughs> Fuck that, dude. Gay guys, call me a fag. You know what that means? I dress awesome and I live in a great neighborhood or a neighborhood that's about to be fucking great. That's what that means. Because gay guys make better. That shirt you're wearing, that was a fucking gay guy. You think a straight guy was like, I want a skull with wings on a sweater. No. Fucking homo made that shirt. Thank you. <laughs> the fuck are you laughing at? You have a polo guy. A little gay guy on a horse going like this. Gay guys made all fashion. The hat backwards, that's not gay. So that was a gay guy blowing another gay guy in an alley. <laughs> I do, I live in a gay neighborhood in New York City. It wasn't gay, it was Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen. 15 years ago, Hell's Kitchen couldn't walk around. 10 o'clock at night, you'd be murdered or mugged walking around in fucking Hell's Kitchen. Gay guys moved in? You can walk around 3 o'clock in the morning with my wife. The worst that's gonna happen, my ankle might get bit by a shih tzu. That's about it. 